One of my favorite meals is fast and easy to cook. And if you want to try it homemade instead of just buying it out of a can, here you go. It is time for some Sloppy Joes. I absolutely love this meal. So what I've already got going inside of my pan right now is uh, some minced bell peppers. I went with red and uh, green. And then I also chopped up some yellow onion. I've already got it going inside the pan at this time on about a medium high heat. Let it go there for about two minutes. Let those get softened up. Also, several ingredients go with this. So you can see it's got a lot of things here. So first things first, kind of show you what all we've got going on. You can see on the screen there, some brown sugar, some mustard, some chili powder, Worcestershire sauce, or however you want to pronounce that word to be just fine. I know there's a lot of pronunciations on that. Also have some tomato paste, uh, ketchup as well, chili powder, yellow mustard, minced garlic. Here's my Worcestershire sauce, the brown sugar, and a little bit of salt and pepper as well. Already got my meat browned. Uh, and what you want to do when you do this at home, go ahead and brown your meat but then take it out of your pan and then put in your uh, peppers and your onions uh, so those can get soft and then when you're done then you can go ahead and add your meat back in as well. So you should basically just start adding all your ingredients. So we'll go ahead and start so we can kind of get things a little saucy. Go with ketchup, uh, about two-thirds cup of ketchup there. To give it that continued flavor, you're going to go with your tomato paste. A good tablespoon or so there. Continue to stir so that nothing itself really gets stuck on there. And of course, with this being thick at this time, I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of water. That will let things become a little bit more saucy and easier to mix at this time. Continue to stir. Go ahead and add in just a little bit of your Worcestershire sauce. Oh boy, that is already starting to smell really, really good. Minced garlic, I prefer going with the fresh garlic. You can take the garlic cloves, three garlic cloves, smash them very carefully with the flat edge of your knife. That will then, of course, flatten the garlic itself. Then once that garlic is flattened, then you begin uh, just finely chopping it. If you want to do a food processor, that's fine as well but just go with a freshly chopped or freshly minced garlic. A little bit of mustard in there as well. Go with the yellow mustard. Not the Dijon, uh, not the Grey Poupon, nothing like that. Just go with your everyday, regular yellow mustard. Continue to stir so that nothing burns, so that nothing sticks. And also getting all your ingredients mixed uniformly. Brown sugar, if you prefer a little bit of brown sugar in there. That'll give it that sweetness taste. And then just a little bit of salt and pepper to flavor. If you prefer, you could probably add that last if you want to. So if you need to add more or less, you can. Continue to make a mess as I'm doing over here at this time. Continuing to stir. And then also, this will be to taste as well. Going to go with a little bit about, uh, we'll say about two-thirds of a teaspoon there of your chili powder. When it comes to your ingredients, there you go. You're all wrapped up. If you want to add more onion, feel free to add a little bit more onion in there. But do keep in mind that if you add it later, you do have that chance of now it being crunchy versus being soft like it was earlier on. You can go with some red pepper flakes if you'd like. Uh, I chose not to. I figured just adding the chili powder enough would be enough heat. Also, if you uh, optional for you, is to go with a hot sauce. I have Ron's favorite here, some hot sauce as well. Now, when it comes to your buns, you can go with your everyday bun if you prefer. What I've done here is not only have I gone with a slider bun, but I've also gone with the Hawaiian flavor, if you will. Uh, that's just going to begin to give you a little bit extra flavor with this as well. So here we go. You'll just sit here and continue to stir uh, until basically it's to the thickness of your desire, which it has done that for me. And you just take it there. Put a little bit there on your slider bun, and there you go. A homemade sloppy joe. It does take a little prep time, if you will. I probably spent about 30 minutes really just prepping all of this yesterday uh, to get it all ready. But again, it's, to me, it's going to be a whole lot better than putting it inside a can. There you go. Sloppy joe. Easy to make. Not too too many ingredients. How does it taste? I don't know. <laughs> we'll let Ron determine that here coming up next. Yeah.